Hey YouTube, I touched on this on the live stream the other night, but I was on the bucket and I don't think I really went into very much detail. This is my West Tone Concord 1, um, which I unfortunately got in this condition. Um, it didn't, I, I didn't strip it. It was already stripped. Um, as you can see, it's lost the logo on the headstock as well. So I bought this cheap. It's been refretted. Um, the guy said one of the frets is really high, so I'll do, I'll try to do a wee bit of uh, work on it. It had left-handed bass tuners on it, uh, which weren't really any use anyway. You know, they kind of went the wrong way. I suppose technically they did work, but you had to turn them the wrong way. I've since managed to find West Tone Spectrum bass tuners on eBay. I got them pretty cheap, considering they're go-to tuners. They are... The, this guitar is 1983, 1982. Got the hang on, sit here. 1982. So it's got like a, the Matsumoku starting with a two, made in Japan uh, neck plate. But I was going to say on it. It's in that little box, but it was on it. Right. Attempt to turn some volumes down. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah. So this particular model is getting done up by me the scratch plate that it had on it when i got it the guy made it out of brown leatherette and then no no so i drew around it and i made a bit of a mess of this i've been using this dirt bar checker plate a lot recently uh, for doing things i've done um i did a, a bb6 and uh, i'm not happy with it um I, I didn't i didn't finish it obviously but i got this bit here i'm not happy with um Where's my phone? I, thought I'd, I keep forgetting to turn off all the beeps. No, I, hope, I hope no one else beeps. No, there's a... Right, okay. It's all right. Two seconds. So unprofessional. Airplane mode. Yay! Right, so there should be no more beeps. Um, Yeah, so this one, it has, or came with, the original Matsumoku pickup. Like a P-Base pickup there um obviously it's just hanging by a thread there and it had this black uh high mass bridge on it which isn't original these this base is the concord one there was a concord two which as far as i could tell was pretty much exactly the same apart from it's got a one piece neck whereas this has got a separate fingerboard and i think it had brass knobs and i think it came in slightly different colors um that was kind of it this sort of era uh west Stone were just awesome guitars um so this is the concord shape the old concord shape so there is a guitar like this is also there's a guitar called a west tone padwack which i've always wanted which is this shape so it's kind of like wide here um quite interesting so I, i've got a concord guitar but it's a, i think it's a 19 it must be a 1983 is it it's the same number in the headstock this is a 1983 um so as you can see, this is more the West Tone Thunder shape, whereas the 1982 version was this shape. This is a Concord H, H2, H2, because it's got humbuckers in it. But as you can see, I painted this yellow, and for some reason it looks really amazing in the, the put on the screen just now. It's just yellow, but it looks pure stunning yellow in that. So these this only came in black and red, I think. This had cracks on the body, so I filled them in and painted it yellow, because you don't get yellow West Tones. But so basically this one's going yellow as well um, to go with this. I'm going to do the paint the paint this black, which works really well on a base I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I was thinking rather than just, I do have quite a few um, just P bases. You know, I don't really feel, I, I'm quite happy just with one pickup um, and a volume and a tone. But I've already got bases to do that. Uh, so this I'm kind of going a bit silly. I got... These I put the other pickup stuck to it. Yeah, Ibanez Musician pickups. This looks like a big humbucker, but it's actually just a it's actually just a P bass pickup in a like that. Um, so I got this off a guy. I've talk, I talked about this in the live stream the other night, so you can watch that live stream three. It's called. Um, so I'm going to put this in the neck. Uh, it also came with a, uh, a, j a jazz bass style. This is a 
these are called a Super J and a Super P, and they're from a musician bass. The bass itself that it came off, I think I told me it was a musician bass. I think it's 1982 or 1983. They had the Super P and the Super J pickups. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to have three pickups in it. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, so it's going to be super hot rodded because might as well. Uh, my, annoyingly, my pal um, Buster's bass guitars. If you look him up, he he built a three P bass pickup, a, a bass a P P bass with three pickup three P bass pickups in it. And uh, I'd never done that. And it was one of those things. Of, well, why have I never done that? Why have I never put three pickups in a bass? And so he beat me to it. So that I'm going to run further by putting three pickups in a bass and uh, it being a pure amazing bass, not just not just a P bass. This is a thirty two inch scale bass as well. I've never actually played it because it's never really worked since I got it. So it's going to be yellow, black scratch plate, black pickups. With that, uh, Ibanez Musician came uh, uh, the active circuit, the active electronic circuit. I'm going to demonstrate it on this. This is uh, That's what the, the checker plate looks like when it's painted black. It's just a repair on this one. This is a 32 inch, uh, might be 1982 as well, 1983. So similar type of bass. Very similar actually, same factory as well. Um, and I put the, just to, to check that it was working, or to, and also to check that it was um, worth putting in, I put the, the active bass circuit, I managed to connect it all up, found a wiring diagram, connected it all up and stuck it in this pedal. So it's just running up a 9 volt battery, but that ideally should go inside the bass. Um, it's going to be quite tight for space in there. Um, I'm going to have to do, that's why I've, I've, I wasn't happy with the, the scratch plate anyway, but I think the scratch plate's going to have to be somewhat... And covering this bit as well because I've got three knobs to do for the EQ. I need at least a volume control and then possibly three switches to turn on the three pickups or a rotary or some not really decided exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm going to put the pickups in it first and then decide what the best way around it is. So they're not active pickups, they're just uh, passive pickups but it's an active boost circuit which is basically just center, center notch three knobs for bass, middle and treble. Which I will put in anyway. This is just a little demo of. In fact, I've been messed about with this oscilloscope. Is it going to be working on the bass? I've not actually tried plugging the bass into it yet. Maybe a bit loud, maybe calm it down a little bit. There you go. Just silly, but done it anyway. I really like this bass. This is an Aria TSB. So if you ever see one of these, just buy it. They're fantastic. Seems really small. It's not really though, but it, it's just it's much more like a guitar. Like 32 inch scale, so not not short scale, but not 34 full scale. Um, fantastic machine. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to really run through the. That's it. That's it off. I put a switch on it. So that basically the middle pickup on the west tone is going to sound like this pretty much. Um, this doesn't have the original area pickup in it. but So a P bass pickup, a volume and a tone up. I might actually have to put a, a passive tone in that as well. I don't know. So there we go, nothing on. And it's 32 inch, it's maybe the same company, it's a maple neck. I don't think this is a one piece maple neck, is it? No, so it's not a one piece, so it's basically, basically the same bass, apart from a different shape. So if I put the one, there's the, there's the boost circuit on. There's the cops on the bass. I don't imagine the cops is active. Just turning the microphone more around to face me rather than facing the amp. So, I mean, the bass, although it, I don't think it's as powerful as the modern Ibanez, uh, I did a couple last week, the week before, but it was like a horrible, not not a really cool look, not a really classy looking machine, but it played amazing in this, this the active circuit and it was pure thunderous. I don't think this goes quite as much, but it does go to the point of it's too much. Turn the tone down. Actually, I set this down a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's, it's only just ready. 
just a minute now. And then that knocks it right off. So I mean, that's a huge decibel boost. Same with the middle circuit. Cut. Thank you. 
So I'm actually sitting there thinking, this is making an awful lot more sense -y. Been able to, this is my new idea, having a shelf that just sits in there so I can actually put, and what I'm going to do is, doesn't have a great input that, um, I think I might put a shelf very similar to that below the soft tech here so I can have like the pedals I very, I very rarely ever use, like the delay, basically the delay, the tremolo, the chorus, the flanger, all those things here so I can actually adjust them because I've got them sitting in a true bypass loop anyway so I can still have them set up and I can actually play around and actually have more chance of maybe using them and learning how they work so I think I'm going to do that and put this, uh, this aluminium checker plate thanks to my pal for giving me tons of that stuff it's turned out to be super handy and I'm basically finding uses for it everywhere um, so it's kind of a bit stupid really um, in all honesty there is I really shouldn't be putting three pickups in that base and the active circuit um, just having the, the original P bass pickup in it and the active circuit is going to give me more scope for sound than I've got in any other bass I've got. So having three pickups is completely to total overkill. But having the opportunity to do up a bass like that one where it's been stripped so I get to have to paint it, uh, I might as well go stupid. Um, I mean, there's no point in putting it back to original, really. You know. And I wouldn't chop one up. I mean, I didn't. Okay, I did sort of modify this one, but that's because the scratch plate was broken, so I just replaced it with this metal bit, which actually I was really pleased with. And I had to. The pickup I used in another base for the guy who donated this to me. This is a. had a, a, a headstock repair that's been screwed back on again. Um, I took it off, glued it, clapped it, and then rather than fill the screw holes, I put the screws back in again. So sort of, it's not going anywhere. Um, this bass this is awesome it's um it's not the most interesting looking bass it just looks like a, a p bass sort of but it's just that wee bit different and it feels really fast so i'm hoping the the thunder west road concord is going to be like this apart from with more pickups in it yeah that's another reason for not putting it together if i, if I built that one back up just the way it is with one pickup in it it's just going to be the same as this so i might as well make it stupid and also the the yellow thing, um, it's worked really well with this guitar. This is one of my favourite. This is post. Uh, this might be my favourite West Tone. Um, there's something about this guitar. It just does everything it should do. It's got the, it's got a one piece maple neck, which is awesome. Um, two humbuckers. It's got a phase, a coil split, a standard. It's yellow, and it's just got no extra fanciness to it. It's just basic, but totally just does exactly what I want. Um, fantastic playing guitar if you ever see one of these um round about this year i mean west tone are always good well the japanese west tone are always good but something like 82 83 is when they were just so the, the early so 81 80 81 they're kind of just learn how to do it 82 83 they pure nailed it and 84 i think they started trying to save money somewhere um they were still very very high quality but like the sort of 84, 85 is when the Spectrums come in and they painted the necks black. You know, I don't like that. And they, they kind of lost a little bit. So it's really 81, 82, 83 is when West Tone were absolutely peaking. Um, and it, I think that, that possibly works for Aria as well. Um, round about that time is just when they were all competing with each other. Even though they were both made in the same factory, West Tone were actually a Matsumoku owned the, the factory. That was their house brand. Whereas Aria are actually owned by Arai, so they were subcontracting out, they were getting them built by Matsumoku, so they were competing with each other, you know, sort of friendly com competition, see who can make the best guitars, and it's like, and at that time, Ibanez were in the fight, so were Washburn, and it's like they were all fighting to make the best guitars, and I think, so not so much the cheapest, but just the, the best quality, and I mean, this is as good as any bass I've ever played, if I'm honest. And it's a cheap one. I mean, I think, if you can find one, I don't think, I think you're paying a couple hundred quid for it. And uh, it'll absolutely blow the pants off anything, really. I, I love it. That active, that active EQ. Imagine 
that's probably making the speaker go. So this video might not make it up. Um, Playing this, I'm really thinking, is this my favourite bass? It, just, it sounds ridiculous. I mean, something like that is much, much prettier, much better built. But this is just so basic. There's so little to it. But the few bits that there are are just perfect. It just works. So I'm not ranting about this. just keep playing this all night i probably will end up just playing this all night rock on stay safe i don't know what day this is going up i just did a hello kitty thing so if you want to buy the hello kitty guitar send me a an offer of huge amounts of cash uh, and you can have it rock on <laughs>